Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. Hope you're well. Welcome to the uh, intermediate section. Last time you saw that we had our game here. We just hit the portal um, and we've got several blocks of code uh, going on. So what we're going to do is just tidy this up slightly like this and we can keep this nice and tidy here. I'm going to put that over here because in a second we're going to go and extend the on start because we are going to have to be a little bit sneaky with um, some loops. Um, we have to go and give Kato something to go and collect. So this could be anything. In my, in my game, I may go and put some fish bones or some fish, or a bit of mackerel or something like that, uh, or tin of tuna. Um, you can you can do whatever you want you can copy you can follow along that's fine you can have anything you like um, for your game okay so i'm going to go and create uh create a tile like we did before um and then i'm going to go and just start making probably a fish head and some bones okay so here we are with my fish uh, and fish bones and a little bit of fish what we have to do now is essentially uh, go and grab um, our tile maps and go into here and just go and put a place marker down. Um, this is probably going to be a little bit easier than going and putting all the fish down because it means that we can probably reuse the level a little bit and reuse the actual um, placement of things and replace it again um, when it's in level two. So we can just go and put a color down in here and just put the, the, this, the place markers down for my fish. So let's go into my tiles. Let's go and make a new tile. And uh, this one's going to be uh, just filled really simply. I'm gonna go and put it as close to the, the tile. And I'll call it fish color. I was going to call that fish color at the bottom. You see that at the bottom here, fish color. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just put these uh, around uh, my game. And see if we can go and get some. And put those in here. This. See if we can get a bit of challenge. There we go. So I've got all those there in my level one. And essentially what we're going to do is inside uh, here, we're going to go and use a loop inside here. So I want to go and grab a loop. Um, and it is a for loop. So we just want this list basically. If you go into these loops, if you go into, into here, just a little thing, uh, you hold your, your mouse over it. Sometimes they'll tell you exactly what they're, they're for. So we want the value of this list and inside this list um, is going to be uh, all of the locations um, of the blocks that we just painted. And then what's going to happen is in that loop, every time it knows that there is a colored square, it's going to replace it with the fish so that list is here so that an array is in this context is essentially a list so we're going to go and put that the value of um of all of those blocks going to choose this one here so all the locations of that square are going to be replaced with the fish so then our sprite is uh is going to be the uh, fish so we're going let's go and call this uh, a new variable we we'll call this uh, fish level one we can always change it later on that's fine fish level one uh, go and grab this I go into my assets and go and grab my uh, go and grab my sprites Actually, there is a mistake here that I've made and 
is actually I've made the asset you will actually see some of you will have been ahead of me already that I've made this as a tile and what I need to do is turn this into a sprite so I need to turn this tile actually into its own sprite so to do this what we have to do is go into the editor in the assets in here go and click on it and you get these options in the middle and you can copy the entire thing so copy it and we're going to go and make a sprite now so just go and make an image which is a sprite we're going to make an image now and then on your keyboard you can go and paste into here using uh, on your on your mac if you're on a mac it's command and v on windows here i'm just going to do control v and it should paste my my fish into it so i'm going to call this fish level one like that and now i've got a sprite to use so you can copy you can copy and paste this this is relatively simple so um those of you who are those of you on Mac, remember command v and then control v for windows so then i can go into here and i can go to my assets and i have my fish which is their fish level one so i can go and use that fish level one so what that's going to do now is eventually it's going to go and change uh, at the locations and we just need it to be uh, in, in instead of those because as you'll see here in mine you can see that the fish is <laughs> is not on top of uh, the value okay so it's not in the it's not in the right space so you need to just go into scene and then we just roll down and then you can see uh, tile map uh, operations so you can go and place uh, this bit here look it says place this will be the value which is the uh, which is th th these two items on top of the value so you want uh, fish level one on top of the value in here so just gonna put this in here and just grab value and uh, drop value onto there and change this to fish level one and the fish level one it's going to be on top of that and there you can see them to see them together the problem is now that in that loop is it's going to have to constantly take those squares away so it's going to take those squares away and to do that we just want to see through uh we just want to see through um block now on top of there then we can go and set this empty block here at the space of this get rid of that ah come on put that in there there we go you just want a space now at, va at the value and there you've got the fish so then our cat will in a second we'll have that on sprite kind of player overlaps the fish and we can go and uh, get some scores all right uh, have a go at that remember you copy and paste um, it doesn't matter if you make an asset by mistake you can go and swap them over by copying okay so go and have a little bit of fun play test it make sure that it works and you should be ready to rock and roll have fun good luck